Two dudes two back dudes again, back shout out Open Minded again. Folk. We're back. Do another track from this album. What album is it? Czar and Doom. 2018 project. We just did uh oh, what the fuck was the name of it? We did we done a couple, we done bomb throwing from this. <clears throat> and then that other one we just did. Which track? Names are on the tip of my tongue. But... Nautical depth. Yo, yo, what's good? Dude, the beats. Like, how do you how do you Zara, make that and Zara make it sound that beats. crisp and clean? Yeah, his beats are fucking nuts. Isn't this the same project? Got it. No. Just an alternate album cover. Like different colors. Other shit he said. Let's go back. That shit was crazy.
like you can see why him and Doom collab so good together I mean just their beats alone you know they have similar and like they taste you know like they, they filled like they filled the room Ooh. with bass and there was a certain pressure to it you know what I mean just like if you were in a submarine yeah and then the and you could like that was echo through yeah I can bass. see why they picked this that is pretty know, cool that was a single from that album it's perfect and yeah, every song. There's some deep ass con, uh, you know, concepts. In dude, there. every song in this project so far is like we said earlier. The beats are the production just incredible, flawless. Yeah, and of course their rhyming is going to be just icing on the cake. So flawless victory so far. <laughs> yeah. Even when we did the Super What album, though, so the yeah, it was probably a full album, even though it was like 28 minutes. Uh, yeah, same thing. Yeah, amazing. Crazy. Good Under, stuff. Underrated shit, really. But underrated. Hit us up. Let us know things. And all that stuff. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Cool track. Just, yeah. I challenge crazy. anybody to make beats like that, though. Like, they're engaging, you know? Like, it's... Draws you in. So our faces production, Doom's production, that shit grabs you. It's yeah. Like, psh, you know. Until they just cranked the volume up like, and then just started mixing sounds in. Yeah, because they're making all their own shit. I don't know, like, I, I think Doom, <coughs> or, uh, not Doom, but <clears throat> Cannabis works more with producers. Maybe he does some of his own beats, but I've always thought of him as just a beast of an MC, not really. Yeah. He doesn't really make his. And he I mean, collabs with producers, which is cool as shit. Like, he does a lot of that. Why Why call this song Always Radical sticks to Death? Sound. You know what I mean? And they obviously, or <clears throat> because of the title of the song, you know, they, I mean, all the they, things they, they went about. with yeah, a so. nautical theme with the, yeah. because I didn't, honestly, until you, at the end when you said, oh, submarine, using whatever, <laughs> like, um, you know, they obviously went with the nautical theme. That's, yeah. In the and depth it, of their, you know, like so, they're like this song was about you know the, the lyrics in the song, yeah, that typical hip hop song lyrically, but what you know, like what was the theme that you know they they how named deep, the theme nautical depth? How deep can you get? Because I don't even think they said nautical depth in the song. It's just no, he's that's talking the vibe a lot. They're putting off. Even Zar was talking a lot about like just pop culture, a lot of pop culture yeah. references, and then, but. Maybe, with yeah, life he, itself. Yeah, maybe. he's dive. They're diving into all these, maybe just these different topics too, and just you know, yeah, yeah, just diving into society. There you go. Huh? Let us know. But like, it, 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 you know, the what it just fascinates me how like, you know, somebody was like, oh, I have this. I want. I want to rap about these things, and like, you yeah. come in and rap on this. And, you know, put a, you know, a, a Jamaican hook on it, but it's all clots and all that. Dude, and this, like, you know, what's crazy about hip hop though is, most of the time, just and you know, I've listened to hip hop my whole life, but it's like, there, it's so fucking deep. Like, yeah, there's so many layers to it. So much goes it. into there's it. So many layers. It. You know, it's passionate yeah. thought and soul. You got the beats, and and it rarely gets be, listened to. You get beats like these guys though. Are could doing be doing this because they love it, not the, because they're getting paid well, dude, the, to. Yeah, the you know beat I mean? the beats could be the most simple shit to the most complex shit, but then if, if you have a great lyricist, then you have to really like we said many times, you have to go back and really listen to the great MCs and shit because you're only getting surface value. Yeah. Even if you listen to it a couple times, like you really have to fucking pay attention and sometimes maybe pull your shit up and like Google some, Google some shit to like find out more right. because yeah. it it goes real and deep you can't, because you can't really just put anything down, like it's a, you know I guess my th point very is, rarely do I go back yeah. and listen to a freestyle, yeah because it's just nothing words it's badass what they're doing at the moment and in that moment you know the initial reaction to it's amazing yeah the way they're after just, that it's like okay you know noodling words unless it's a out song of their brain in a rhyme it, but, it, you know that in itself is cool but. 
to sit down and listen to concepts like nautical death or you know uh rat snitch knishes and like it's yeah. like they named it that but why what are these lyrics saying that it rap means snitch, rap snitch, knish, you know what I mean? It's about like, rappers that go and literally tell them themselves. Like, and it happens in, a lot in front of In front of themselves of you, in court yeah, and shit. Yeah, or even like, you yeah, know, rap exactly about it, what put it's it about. out in a song, and like, then it's on the radio, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're in court, because, yeah, did I you mean, really kill this person? Even <laughs> you know? uh, Mo Steph was talking about that years ago. He's like, that is the, the greatest fucking song that's out right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's true, like, telling all their business, sitting front of the judge and be their own star witness like right yeah just telling themselves but no my point earlier was saying about you know you can just get the you get the surface value unless you extremely pay attention to these songs and revisit right yeah because that's what we're getting initially so we might even our first reaction is this usually, is what they're this is what they're talking about wrong. But it's, <laughs> it's way usually fucking wrong. deeper than yeah but hit us up everybody have a spirit of conversation digest these lyrics like holy yeah shit. man Continue the conversation in the comment section and uh, hit the like button, subscribe on even these guys' channel, you know, everyone's channel. So, everyone. Subscribe, share them, you know, spread it through YouTube. That way, YouTube yeah. sees what the movie is. Because this is like the, the only way. And, and we've always spirited it and kind of like the, con, you know, definitely not kind of like definitely the, the conscious hip hop on this channel. You know, yeah. Like, these, this is conscious to the fullest. Yeah. Czar face is fucking... You can tell how intelligent a lot like, of these dudes and females and shit are. Even the music like they need is to be conscious. put out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these, even the music is conscious. Yeah, because even, you know, we got Lupe, we got yeah, Kendrick. Even, just on its own would be fun to listen to. Yeah, we got Kendrick and Lupe, and they're, like, you know, commercially well-known and shit, but we need more artists like that that are, you know what I mean? Like, these dudes, I yeah. know they're respected in their own communities yeah. and their own and scene. And the only way to do that, that they have to be... Is, like, if you're listening to a lot of music we're saying is conscious hip-hop has to be at the forefront. You have to like, subscribe, never happened. and share. Actually, it has that happened. That way you're moving it. And, and YouTube will see that it's moving. Dude. And, and then they'll move it. You know, your friends will. And then everybody's moving. I think the last time... Cool artists. Yeah, if you really want to think about it, the what last the last time conscious hip hop was at the forefront was in the eighties. And then when you know, gangster rap hit and that was like the commercial shit and then but it was always there, even in the early nineties with you had the native tongues, like all yeah. those groups in New York that formed that big super group. What was that? Um group wow. But definitely in the late mid to late eighties definitely from the whole decade of the eighties. Like conscious rap was at the forefront when hip hop was really just bubbling and shit, like taking this off. Guy who being did this really still crazy local rap in the community. Where it was like Oh man, it's just so incredible. They're, they're back in the day. Group. They're a hip hop group. I think they were in the nineties. Over in California, I believe. Fellowship, the Freestyle Fellowship. Yeah, what was that one guy, Micah Nine? <laughs> we did yeah. a couple of his songs. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Beast, yeah. Those guys like, are beasts, man. That should have. Yeah. That should have been commercial. Snoop Dogg had talked about riding around in the car back in the day with Warren G, and they used to listen to the shit at the Freestyle Fellowship. No He's like, those guys yeah. are hard. Man. But yeah, yeah. Put some of those on. Like put. Play some we'll have to do another one. Peace, we're out on this one. Stay tuned for more reaction.